So I'm getting ready to head over to a little park called Jetton Park over in a place called Cornelius, North Carolina. My hope is that I'm going to get there before sunset and I can get a little bit of footage of what this beautiful area looks like for my wife because she's extremely interested. So I'm going to jump in the car here, I'll shut this camera off, and we'll try to get to the park, see what I can do. That sun though. I mean, the absolute best part is I gotta have this thing down, otherwise, whoo. I don't think you guys understand what it's like living in Michigan not having sunlight, but I need some sunlight. And it's warm, and I get to walk around without a coat on, and I get to go out by the water and not freeze to death, like quite literally. And just like that, we're here by the water. Um, actually, you can barely see it through the trees here, but I'm gonna head down there, see what's going on, see if it's safe to put my drone up. It's extremely close to work. It's beautiful over here. It's quiet, listen. Nothing, it's just quiet. And as I was driving through, there's like little parks and things to, to hang out at. Uh, I'm gonna get down here by the water and check it out. Uh, I am, as you can see, you're January 25th with no coat on. It's a little, a little, little nippy. Little nippy. Um, but I can't see my breath, so it ain't nippy enough. Check that out. It's pretty nice, right? Just a small little walk down in the woods. It's super quiet down here. Let me explain to you where I'm at. It's called Lake Norman. It's a massive lake here in North Carolina. Very, very beautiful homes all around here. Parks all over along the shoreline. A lake that has a bunch of little tentacles and fingers on it. Here, let me show you a map of it. As you can see in that map, it's just like lake and inlets and, and streams and lake and inlets and it's beautiful. You can see shoreline all over the place. The water's crystal clear. I can hear myself think. I can hear the animals, and I'm standing here next to this beautiful tree. Check that thing out. Just amazing with the root system and how just beautiful it looks. I love coming outside. When I was a kid, let me tell you guys a quick story. If I got grounded as a kid, I literally felt like my life was coming to an end because I loved being outside. I loved exploring. I loved checking things out. Grounding sucked. Couldn't handle being grounded. But now being spanked, not a big deal, I can handle that. But if you grounded me, life was over because I couldn't enjoy all of this, this beauty. You know, it reminds me of something that I, I hope you guys are thinking about in your day-to-day -day life, and that is that you are pursuing something that's beautiful. We always told them to pursue what made them feel like they were chasing after a dream. So if you felt like music was your dream, chase after that dream. I'm not one of those parents or one of those people who would tell you that you have to pursue that which will make you the wealthiest, because in my opinion, what makes you the wealthiest is achieving things that you're dreaming about. I have worked nearly 20 total years with the same company. In those 20 years, I had been working and pursuing uh, to prove myself to be able to be a valuable member of the team, to be able to push myself to accomplish the things that my boss needed me to accomplish. And what's more than that, to be able to have influence that would someday get me an audience with ears that could make maybe some of my dreams come true within that organization. Today, I experience a new position that is full-time video production specialist. Two, three years ago, uh, you, would have, you would have been laughed out of the room if you said that we needed a full-time video person responsible just for creating content video and partnering with programs to make it more user-friendly for users. But, but the point is this, if you pursue what your dream is and you do it with passion, somebody trying to get hold of me, you do it with passion, you will achieve something you will achieve parts of that dream, sometimes all of that dream. But if you pursue just a paycheck, 
you see, I think that's the difference between people who are completely miserable in their job or people who love to do the work that they do is that one would pursue a paycheck and a bigger paycheck and a bigger paycheck and at some point that paycheck just isn't big enough and not satisfying enough. And so here's the encouragement today before I give you guys some gratuitous lake droning. Um, it is important that you pursue your dreams, that you do it with passion and that you try to accomplish what you want. One of my dreams is to satisfy my wife and spend the rest of my life trying to focus on her. See, our kids are gone, we're empty nesters and she wants to experience some life with me. So that may require that I make some drastic changes in my life in order to be able to focus on her as well as the dreams that I have personally and the dreams that she has personally. So it might equal some changes. We'll see how that goes. But the point being that my dream to this point was to raise great kids. I did that. I believe I did that. They've got things that they can work on to sustain my life with my wife. I've done that and I think that there's some things to work on, but we've done that to improve my career. Done that. There's some things I could do better, but I did that. And now to chase after trying to become a better creator, which I'm in the process of and you guys are experiencing right now. So as you can see, I'm chasing my dream. I'm doing today what I hope to do tomorrow. And that's what I hope you guys will do as well. There you have it. Some beautiful drone footage of Lake Norman. I have to give a big shout out to the person who told me all about this park. Esther, if you're watching, you, my friend, have great taste. This is beautiful out here. Absolutely love that. I could come out here and sit for days. Although I would like to bring a coat in January 25th because it's getting cold with the sun setting. Guys, thank you so much for being a part of this community. Esther, again, thanks for sending me over here. If you don't know, my name is Steve Lemon. If you didn't catch it in the opening, I'm the weird little host around this channel. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I hope you guys are chasing your dreams. And with that, I'm going to hurry on back to my hotel. Really appreciate you guys stopping by again. Thank you so much. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And with that, I'm out of here.